Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to make a tooltip in Unity. We're going to add the ability to flash a warning. Let's begin. So here is our window and here is our tooltip. It shows up when we pass the mouse over a button and displays text, which in here is static, and in here we have text that is updated on every frame. So this attack button has the cooldown behind it, and again we can see the cooldown displayed on the tooltip, updating on every frame. So this is great for displaying extra information to the player. Now, something else that is also very useful is flashing the tooltip whenever we have some important warning information, like for example, an error message. So in this case, we could show a flashing warning when we click on the attack button if the cooldown isn't over yet. Now, there are several ways we can do this. We could modify this class to add that behavior. However, in doing so, we would make this class needlessly complex and cause many issues with having a tooltip and a warning visible at the same time. So what I normally do in my games is have the normal tooltip and then a separate tooltip warning class. This causes some code duplication but keeps our logic nice and simple. So here in our project folder, let's duplicate our tooltip class. And let's call this the tooltip warning. So here we just change the name. And here we also duplicate our transform, this is the tooltip, and then we have the tooltip warning, and drag our newly created class. Okay, so we now have two separate tooltips that we can use. So let's see the tooltip warning code. Here is the class, and most of the code will be mostly the same. So for example, following the mouse, that acts on both tooltips, and setting the text as well. One of the main differences is that the warning is meant to be visible only for a short while, whereas the normal tooltip is visible until it is actually manually hidden. So let's create a very simple timer to hide it after some time. So up here we simply make a private float for the show timer. And on our update, let's simply reduce that timer by time.delta time. And if it is under zero, then we want to hide our tooltip. And in our show tooltip function, we're going to have an optional parameter for a float show timer max, and let's default it to two seconds. And here we simply set our show timer to be our show timer max. So we start off at let's say two seconds, and then it goes down every frame. When it's under zero, it should hide the tooltip. Okay, so it's just a very simple timer, but it should be working. So let's go into our window class. And here on our attack button, let's do a simple if. If the attack cooldown, if it is bigger than zero, then we are currently in the attack cooldown. So in here we want to showcase a warning. So we go into our tooltip warning class and we want to show a simple warning saying cannot attack. And if not, then we do the attack which just sets the attack cooldown. Okay, so let's test. Okay, here it is, the normal tooltip still works perfectly fine. If I click on the attack, the normal one still works, click again, and yep, there you go, there's the cannot attack warning message. And after a while, the message went away. All right, so the basics for our warning tooltip are working. We have a warning that we can display and it stays displayed and stays following the mouse just like the normal tooltip and disappears after some time. Now, obviously, since this is meant to be a warning, we want to make it more visible. So let's do a simple flashing animation. So over here on our update, let's create a simple flash. So we need some variables for that. So a float for the flash timer and a int for the flash state. So in here we increase the flash timer by time.delta time. Let's also define a float for the flash timer max. And if the flash timer, if it is bigger than the flash timer max, then let's increase the flash state. And then we do a switch on the flash state. So just like that, every time we go past flash timer max, the state will increase. So in here, using odds and evens, we can set a different color to make a very simple animation. So case we have state of one, let us set our tooltip text dot color into white. And we also want to change the background color. So in here, let's grab a image for our background image. And we set the background to a red color. In case we have a two, we do essentially the reverse. We put the background in white 
and we put the text in red. So just like that, we should have a nice flash. Now again, we don't want it to flash just once, so we can simply add a few more cases. So like this, we should have a nice flash. So now all we need to do is go down into the show tooltip and here we set our variable. So set the flash timer back to zero and the flash state also back to zero. Okay, so when we show our tooltip, we set the flash timer and flash state both to zero. Then on every frame, we increase the flash timer by the delta time. If it is above flash timer max, which in this case is set to 30 frames per second, if it is, we increase the flash state, and if it is either 1, 3, or 5, then we show the tooltip using a white color and the background using a red color. If it is a 2 or a 4, then we show the tooltip in red and the background in white. So again, on our window, we have our warning being shown if we click whilst the attack cooldown is still active. So let's see if that is flashing saying cannot attack. Okay, here we are. There's the tooltip working perfectly fine. There's the attack. If I click once, yep, there's a cooldown. Now click again. Yep, there you go. A nice, very visible warning saying we cannot attack because the cooldown is still active. And as you can see, this is great for displaying error messages to the player. So there you have it. We took our tooltip and duplicated it to create a warning tooltip that flashes to show the player a error message. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.